Let's get down to business now. Look at some of the other headlines we are watching in business and beyond. We start with a federal judge's decision to throw out a lawsuit from the Justice Department that would have ordered casino mogul Steve Wynn to register as a foreign agent working on behalf of China. The magnet, known for supporting and bankrolling the GOP, was working on behalf of a former Chinese official and China itself during the Trump administration, passing on messages to then-President Trump. Now, while the judge did not disagree that Wynn should have registered at the time, he said the the obligation to register ended when Wynn's relationship with China ended. Wynn stepped down as chairman and chief executive of namesake Wynn Resorts following sexual misconduct allegations in 2018. Radio host Alex Jones has been ordered to pay $965 million to family members and an FBI agent. That's in damages over Jones's remarks on the 2012 Sandy Hook school shooting. Earlier in the case, Jones had been found liable for defamation. He is infamous, of course, for touting conspiracy theories and was sued by the families and that agent after repeatedly and falsely claiming the school showed shooting was a hoax, with plaintiffs saying they were harassed by Jones's followers. And ByteDance, the owner of popular social media app TikTok, reportedly in talks with record labels to create a music streaming service for to rival Spotify and Apple Music. This is according to the Wall Street Journal. That service would reportedly be integrated inside of TikTok. ByteDance actually already has a music streaming service called Reso, but it's limited to countries like India and Indonesia. Reso's poor, poor, poor revenue streams are reportedly a sticking point with record labels.